there's currently a trend where women are sharing their, and there are so many people in the comments talking about how they thought a 39 year old woman was actually 50 or how they thought a 22 year old woman was actually 37. <laughs> Right now, there are women in Gaza whose babies are being murdered at a few days old. There are husbands in Gaza whose wives are being massacred. There are children in Gaza whose mothers are no longer alive. And I think about all of those women, the daughters, the aunts, the cousins, the sisters, how every single one of those women would do anything to be able to see the wrinkles and the graying hair and the signs of aging on their loved ones. I know we talk about it being a privilege to age. I, I, I know that so many of us are aware that it's a privilege to be able to get older. But the fact that this privilege is so deeply intertwined with hatred for what it looks like to grow older, to me, obviously speaks of immense privilege because how can you live in a society where you fight aging with injections and paying money for lots of over-the-counter or medical surgeries unless you come from a place of privilege to be able to even think to be able to even think that you want to address that but two it really makes me think about my hijab myself my hijab and for many of you who are not muslim right now and who don't know much about islam but who are learning more about islam because of palestinian Muslim faith of wearing their hijab, that they are wearing it in the middle of, you know, being bombed because they don't want to be murdered without wearing it. And it's made me really reflect on how Islam has this very physical reminder for women that our worth is not tied to what we look like at all. I'm not saying that any woman believes that her worth is tied to her looks, although I think many women struggle with that, and that's completely understandable because of the messages that we are given as little girls. Of course, women who wear hijab are also affected by those messages. So women who wear hijab also probably do get Botox and fillers and struggle with the way that they look. But conceptually, the concept of hijab, one of the wisdoms and blessings of it is that it really is supposed to dissociate you from any like effort or not not effort not to look presentable but like to obsess or to care or to be so overwhelmed with thinking about what you look like so that your full mental focus and capacity and energy is really about the actions that you're putting forth and i'm not trying to say that women who don't wear hijab who are muslim are women who are not muslim and don't care about hijab or know about hijab or or anything like that don't also focus on their action but what i'm trying to say is that it's a messaging to society that there is a deeper emphasis religiously on a religious level for us as women not to care about how we go out into society other than to put on a very clear message that my focus is what i'm doing and my interest